observation of wet mount of human cheek cells. How to take the specimen? We will take a toothpick and just for example, this is a toothpick and we are applying very gently from downward to upward inside the cheek wall and we will take the uh, small amount of sample and we will be careful that the not the sharp end but the smooth end of the toothpick will be used for taking the sample. Materials we will require toothpicks tips for taking the solutions we will require a pipette methylene blue water slides cover slips oil immersion and for placement pastry dish we have already taken a sample first we will put the slide inside the petri dish and we'll apply a small droplet of water by avoiding the air bubble then we will add a small droplet of methylene blue And the already taken sample, the cheek cell, we will move in a round so that all the cheek cells will mix smoothly. Then we will put a cover slip. Very gently and avoiding the water bubble. We will soak the extra stain by tissue paper and we will remove all the bubbles. So we will start visualizing the cheek cells first, the magnification power will be four X. And we will move in a zigzag motion so that Over the slide, we will see the specimen. Under the first, we are observing under the four eggs. And we'll write our observations. The human cheek cell basically is consists of a cell cytoplasm and there is a nucleus inside. So the nucleus becomes more stained. So at the 4x we will just visualize a small 
patches of the cell. Now we will move towards the 10x. In the same zigzag movement. We will observe and we record our observations. Now we will have a better view. Then we will turn towards the 40x. movement in the zigzag we will observe the more clear view of the human cheek cell and record our observations Now for the best view, we will change the magnification power to the 100x and on 100x we will apply some oil immersion. We will get more better view of the human cheek cell. And we will record our observations. So, my young scientist, in this way, we will complete our experiment and will visualize how the epithelial wall of a cheek cell we, we can get different types of the epithelial cells and we will draw these cells and can then classify how the visualization will be clear. Thank you very much.